Hello, today is December 4th and we are going to find out what is behind door number four in our advent calendar. The Emperor and the Nightingale. Let's read it together. The Emperor of China was very proud of his summer palace. The pillars were made of porcelain, the roof gleamed with real gold. The palace garden bloomed with rare flowers and tiny bells tinkled in the breeze. One day, the emperor was reading about his palace. He read, the palace boasts many wonders, the emperor smiled. But most wonderful of all is the song of the nightingale. What? snapped the emperor. I've never heard of this nightingale. Bring it here at once. Unfortunately, none of his ministers or servants had heard of the nightingale either. They combed distant meadows. They startled frogs out of ponds. At last, in trees at the very edge of the garden, they heard a soft, sweet sound. It was a little brown bird. Are you the nightingale? They asked. The emperor wants you to sing to him. My song sounds best among the trees, said the nightingale, but she flew to the palace and sang her sweet, soft song. The emperor loved it so much, he begged her to stay and sing to him every day. The emperor gave the nightingale a fancy golden cage and fine silk ribbons. You shall have the best of everything, he said. He invited musicians to play alongside her and scholars to write about her. A while later, on the emperor's birthday, a gift arrived. It was a clockwork nightingale, glittering with gold and jewels. If you turned a key in its side, it played a stiff clockwork tune. How beautiful, exclaimed the emperor, dazzled he had eyes for nothing else. The emperor played the clockwork nightingale every day and every night. He forgot all about the little brown bird until one day he turned the key to hear a sharp twang and then nothing. Some part of the clockwork had snapped and no one knew how to fix it. Now the emperor longed for his little brown bird, but she had long since flown away. The servants searched high and low. This time, no one could find her. The emperor was heartbroken. He took to his bed and stayed there. His room was full of silence and shadows and his doctor feared he was close to death. But then a sweet soft song drifted through the open window and the darkness started to lift. The little brown bird had come back and the emperor began to get better. You are a true friend, he told her. Please stay with me like before. Not in a cage, replied the bird, but I will make my nest in your garden and visit you often. And she did. The end. Thank you for reading with me. Join me next time and we'll see what other books are behind door number five.